What's up guys, Bliving Guy here with another installment of Low Tier Tactics. And this one is Super Street Fighter 4, the arcade edition, version 2012, but it's just Super Street Fighter 4 in general. And what I did here was I decided to play as El Fuerte for the first match, and for the second match I have, I decided to play as Dan. So, as you can see here, it's not much of a problem because you guys have seen me play as El Fuerte, so it's not much of me a low tier tactics if I just put something I'm good at. So I decided to challenge myself as well. And as you can see here, I'm fighting an Akuma, a, you know, a costumed Akuma, which, you know, always results in an interesting match. And eventually, you know, I win the first round. As for the second round, you guys just have to see. For the most part, I actually had fun fighting these people because Everyone's moved on to Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and not honestly, I have tried out Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and it plays exactly the same as Super Street Fighter 4, except with combos. The gem system is kind of questionable, but I guess I'll leave that for another video. But overall, I actually had a lot of fun with um, Street Fighter Cross Tekken and Super Street Fighter 4 coming back to it. As usual, the tier list is posted in the description, so for those of you who say, wait a minute, I've seen a lot of this character, well, it wasn't really that hard to find the tier list. I mean, it's not by a matter of if you use them. Actually, it is. Determining a tier is how much you use them and how well they play out. And for this particular tier, nobody uses El Fuerte for one reason, and that is because you always have to set up his attacks using the Habanero dash. And I don't find a problem with that. I don't. It's really easy. It always leads into something good for me. Maybe because I've been using it ever since I got the game. But for everyone who's new to the game, they're not going to like El Forte at all. Especially if they're used to Ken and Ryu and all them. And for this match, I fought a Ken. Oh, you Ken. And I used Dan. Yeah, I already know why he's low tier. It's because of his projectile. It is absolute garbage I'll show you it'll it'll show up right now in the video it'll show up look it it's not it's not a good projectile at all it stops halfway it just gives up on itself the only other moves Dan has is like a sort of sure you can type move and the triple kick which I guess is supposed to be an imitation of Tatsumaki which does come in handy as you can see uh, anything else to say about Dan not really his ultra is hilarious though he just trips into you and then just starts beating the ever-loving bar out of you. Then just ends with a Freddie Mercury type punch. All jokes aside, it was really good to come back to this game after a, a while. I mean a while. Uh, once I picked up Marvel, I never really paid attention to this game anymore. And when I came back, you know, I got that nostalgic feeling because I used to play this game a lot. I mean, once I heard about that 2012 patch, then I was like, okay, maybe I should check it out. But nothing really much has changed except for frame rates, move sets, and some hit stuns, and you know, technical stuff that you know, people thought was should have been patched. But you know, in general, it's still a really good game. Uh, I think Street Fighter Cross Tekken is a little better than this than Super Street Fighter 4, but you know, that's just my opinion. And there we have it, the end of the match. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed low tier tactics. And remember, low tier for the win.